tonight's calm sleep story will take you on a carefree journey towards deep and relaxing slumber. Let go of all your anxieties and cares of the day with a cottage by the sea. There is a cottage on the outer banks of North Carolina that houses the memories of loved ones and the golden dreams of things yet to come. Where you may find yourself settling in after a day on the beach. So find a safe and cozy place where you can tap into you Connect with your deeper self and reign in your thoughts to unlock the beautiful potential of your imagination. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle and here as your friend and your guide. I am here as a reminder of all the beauty that is in the world and all the beauty that rests within you in memories and in visualizations of all that is pleasant. And these images and feelings may elevate your mood in times when you are struggling and may imprint themselves into your sleeping life so you may dream away. You are free to fill in the details in whatever way most appeals to you because this story is meant to conjure things that make you most happy. And you are free to drift away from my voice at any point you would like to cross that bridge from your waking to sleeping life that is always there for you. And in this story, you may keep that bridge in mind, envisioning it crossing over a salt water marsh at night to an island of deep sleep. And I'd like for you to take in a deep breath and then sigh it all out. Make a sound if you like and wiggle your body and shake off any tension you may be holding. You can be as exaggerated as feels right to you. Likening this to a dog running out of the ocean and shaking away droplets of salt water from the surf on her fur. And again, take in a deep breath, letting it turn into a guilt-free yawn before just sighing it out as her body becomes as heavy as lead upon your soft bed and your eyelids fall like sandbags upon your tired eyes. You are safe. You are loved. You are important. And your feelings and thoughts matter as you begin to shift them like the rolling waves of an incoming tide 
towards land. Towards grounding yourself in this moment. And in the safety you are allowed to recognize right now. You are safe. And you may visualize your feet upon the wet brown sand as the blue-green ocean is so briny you can taste the salt upon your parted lips taking in a deep breath through your nose as you look towards the midday sun the salty air is palpable And you are accompanied by a dog who runs to you with a piece of driftwood that you take and throw out into the ocean. The dog is smiling as the surf comes upon your feet and she breaks through the waves to retrieve the bone white weathered wood. You watch as a tiny white crab scampers in front of you, going back towards the sea, as bubbles form from moon snails, digging deep beneath the surface, as the tide pulls away like a curtain of water. Seagulls flock overhead. And you remember days as a child with nothing but a plastic sand pail and shovel needed to occupy an entire day. You feel the sand between your toes, the water so warm, it's like a bath on the summer day. As your pup returns again with the same piece of driftwood, you decide to take a swim, removing your linen clothing that billows in the breeze. You strip down to your swimsuit before you run full speed into the crashing waves. The current is lively, but you swim past the breaking point as your strong arms and legs cut through the water. You begin to slow down and relax where the waves are calmer and you may just float. Your canine companion takes to the shore and you feel protected as she watches you, running parallel to you as you float on your back. You look to the cornflower blue sky above as big puffy clouds make formations that you focus on. Your hair like floating tendrils surrenders to the waves and gives your scalp a gentle massage. And whatever tension you had in your chest and in your lungs is releasing now. Perhaps you weren't even aware you were carrying it. But now you sigh out this release, letting it go, feeling that all your tension and all your cares can be absorbed by the magnanimous ocean. 
You feel your own smallness right now. And how small and tiny your concerns and thoughts are. You are a small part of this big, beautiful world. You close your eyes and feel the rays of sunlight hit your face. So warm and healing. Remembering the first time you noticed the sun and relished its warmth floating to and fro supported by each wave that rocks you and lulls you deeper into relaxation and you don't know how much time goes by before you open your eyes and see your pup patiently waiting and wagging her tail and you decide to ride the waves to the shore a big wave comes along and just before it crests you come atop it and body surf on your belly letting your arms slice through the water and you laugh this moment of fun just for the sake of joy for the sake of enjoying being you and being alive a reminder that you need to have more moments of joy and fun. The sound of your laughter is there as a strong reminder of who you are and have been. The consciousness of going through this human experience and always, always with the ability to laugh and focus on the beautiful lightness of being. Riding one more wave, floating in this sensation of being light and unbound as you come to shallow waters and your knees touch the sand. You stand walking towards the shore as waves hit your calves and you find balance. Every step is a new opportunity to rebalance And in the ocean, never do you look to a wave and get upset at what it does because this is its natural state. Even when the waves make it harder to stand or to walk. And you may find other moments in your life when you can offer the same patience and understanding. At times, life may feel hard, but with patience, you know it will pass and know that challenges will cause you to become focused and balanced and have an opportunity to shine with all the strengths and gifts that you have been developing. The dog is now leading you towards your cottage. 
the dunes rise high as if reaching towards the sky in sable hills that are populated with seagrass that grows as tall as you and blows like green feathers in the constant breeze. You grab your clothes and use them to wipe the salt water from your face as you continue down the open beach that is seemingly endless. The sun is beginning to get closer towards the horizon, towards the Pamlico Sound which forms the largest saltwater lagoon in the country. The sky now a fiery pink. As the blonde sand takes on a cotton candy hue and streaks of magenta like stripes of melted wax intersect the blue skies. The air is still warm and the breeze is like a silk blanket that wraps around you with this warmth even as the sun sets in the west. And you see the outline of your cottage up ahead as your dog runs full speed. The leader of the pack, she keeps tabs on your progress before sprinting and you decide to run as well, feeling your lungs take in deep breaths and the power of the muscles in your legs and the support of your feet that have faithfully carried you every step in your life. Your ribs expand to their greatest capacity and you sigh out your breath as you come to the path to your cottage. And you take a moment to just take in all the details of this cottage. The color and the architecture is exactly how you want them to be. While cozy, nestled behind a sand fence that keeps the drifts under control. You take in the details, the windows like eyes on the sea, a part of the cottage you may see directly through the hole, from the glass doors facing the sea, straight through the bow windows that look out on the dunes. The home oozes with history and with charm. As you have come to this cottage and created memories with every soul in this life that you have loved. And as memories come in layers, memories of the sea and of meals and joy of warm embraces and intimate moments, of times when you were able to be yourself freely. All these feelings and memories, all of these connections and bonds that go beyond space or time 
are contained in this cottage by the sea. Like a treasure chest of light, as bright as the rays of the summer's sun. When you enter this home, you are engulfed and protected by feelings of love and reminders of the you that has always been you. Of the most authentic expression of who you are. And in this home, you are safe to feel all the feelings you wish to feel and to process all the things you wish to process. It is a time capsule and it is your refuge. As the pup runs upon the porch, you come to an outdoor shower that is surrounded by walls of weather-worn gray wood that has been blasted by sand and storms and still remains. You turn on the shower and step out of your swimsuit and feel the tepid fresh water wash away the tiny white salt crystals that have dried on your skin and in your hair. Washing them away, you grab a bar of handmade soap that smells of your favorite aromas and you wash away the day. You wash away the sand and the salt feeling so clean and fresh and renewed. And you are made aware of how your lungs feel, relaxed and at ease. In the same way they feel after you have recovered from a fit of giggles with someone who just understands. You look to the sky, now cast a dark shade of sapphire blue as silvery white clouds drift across the night sky and the stars begin to reveal themselves in the same way freckles begin to come out after a day in the sun. The sound of the ocean waves crashing is like a persistent song of healing as you wrap yourself in a plush robe that hangs on a hook outside the shower. You tighten the belt feeling snug and bring your nose to the collar to take in the soft smell of fresh laundry that is dried in the sun. Your muscles feel tired and soft and relaxed. You notice the tension you often hold in your face, in your forehead and in your jaw has completely relaxed and is nothing but a distant memory. You step into soft slippers and walk up the sun-faded steps 
that lead you to a deck. Your dog laps up water from a bowl on the deck. As you pour food into her food bowl and notice how easily her needs are met. How easy it is for her to feel happy. And you admire this trait and aspire to be just as grateful for the little things. You enter the cottage from the deck and take note of the wooden floors and open floor plan with a living room that expands into a dining nook and kitchen with a high ceiling and exposed beams. The white wood paneled walls are layered with photo upon photo of beach scenes with those you love, with photos of you smiling at all ages of your life, from infancy to today. All highlighting a special time in your life. These crowning moments that define who you are and how much you have grown on this journey through life. A journey that only you most understand and recall living out your own movie. And the history of this home can be felt. It can be smelled with the aroma of the old wood planks and the smell of books that line the walls in a built-in shelf. the books of your childhood and the novels and memoirs that have cultivated who you are as an adult. You run your fingers along the spines of the books and note the board games on the lowest shelf that represent years of memories and play with those you love and those who have drifted in and out of your life. You walk to the kitchen and open the fridge to remove a sandwich made of your favorite ingredient and a beverage of your choice which you take back to the deck. Your pup having finished her own dinner follows you as you sit in a wooden rocking chair that perfectly fits the curve of your spine. The deck is now illuminated by a string of colorful glass lanterns that glow softly in a rainbow palette. The moon beams above as the cicadas and frogs are singing out their nocturnal melodies. The ocean continues to crash and the crests of the waves take on a metallic hue from the glow of the moon. The sea is now a dark ebony blue 
and like the sky above is like an endless dark canvas upon which reflections gleam from the stars that ignite the sky above. You rock back and forth in the chair, gnashing on your sandwich and sipping your beverage, conscious to every flavor and sensation to come in this moment. You are fully present and relaxed. Your pup curls up at your feet and you feel the warmth of her body and soft fur against your bare legs. And you look to the ocean, feeling satiated and relaxed. And remember all the beautiful memories of night walks and hunts for crabs. You feel at peace in this solitude as you look to the stars and time feels anything but linear. As if the totality of your life and all the dreams you wish to come true are painted upon the sky above. And you simply breathe. And you watch them play out upon the velvet blanket of stars, knowing how precious your life is. How many arcs may take hold in your life and form this entire journey as you see the arcs and connect the stars that symbolize the highlights and turning points in your own life. You inhale the ocean's breeze and then sigh it out, rocking back and forth and feeling quite tired. Your skin is soft to the touch, smelling of soap that marries the briny air. Your hair, now dry, is still beachy and in a natural state. You are feeling quite tired. So you rise and walk to the edge of the deck one last time, stretching your arms out straight as you take hold of the railing and extend your heart, fully open to the moon and the ocean. Your heart is open to all the wonders and all the possibilities that meet you with each day. And you feel connected as if a string is tied to your heart center and plugged into the power of all that is around you. You inhale one last time and say thank you to the moon and the stars and to the beach and the ocean for always being there. 
and you rise and walk to the far end of the deck, entering the cottage through a second set of sliding doors that open into your bedroom. Your dog follows behind, lumbering now in a tired state that resonates with how you currently feel. The bedroom is quaint and adorned with seashells and seahorses and other gifts from the sea that you have collected throughout your time spent in the outer banks. The room is illuminated by the silver glow of the moon and the colorful hanging lanterns that you turn off with a flip of a switch. You remove your slippers and leave them by the door, closing a screen and noting how the sheer curtains gently sway in the breeze. A ceiling fan spins and the room is cool as you step your bare feet upon the smooth wooden floor. So tired, you feel as if you are swimming through the blue-black darkness of the room. Your dog goes to sleep in her bed, located next to yours. As you come upon the white four poster bed and peel back the down comforter and crisp cotton sheets, you climb into the bed, tucking yourself in tightly as you hear the whispering ocean sounds that carry and lull you into a trance. Your body becomes more and more heavy as you sink deeper and deeper down and inhale and exhale. Safe in this cozy cottage that has weathered many a storm on this barrier island. Feeling grateful as your eyelids become storybook screens that show memories of your times on the beach. The laughter that carries through like a thread of joy in the fabric of your life's story, the times you have run and skipped, felt the sand and water through your toes in all seasons of your life, timeless, nurtured, alive. Well, and I am going to count you to sleep as you fade away from the sound of the sea and the gentle breeze, from your waking life across the bridge to your sleeping life. You may even visualize this bridge like a bridge across a salt water marsh beneath the moon. 
that leads you to the safety of your dreams tonight. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Finding peace, finding stillness, finding sleep, finding escape. It's time to dream away. Good night.